All right, guys, we are back with some more Monster Energy Supercross 5. Today, we have the first of two different Legends Pack DLCs to come into the game. Um, this first one is really sick. We get the Pontiac, Silver Dome, and five different Legends to choose from. Now, this DLC is wicked awesome. It really is. And we did see it in Supercross 3. But this time, we get two of them. So I'm assuming five different legends per pack. And they did say one track per pack as well. So pretty awesome. But I do have a pretty big problem with this DLC. Um, it's just a bummer, man. It, it really overshadows the DLC. But, but we'll talk about it when we get to the gameplay. First, let's check out and see what legends come in this pack. Here we go, the meat and potatoes of the DLC. This is the, or are the five legends we get. We get Stanton, Ward, McGrath, Wyndham, and Johnson. Okay, so I decided to use Wyndham first because I feel like they did a great job with, um, with all the legends in the DLC, but specifically Wyndham they did a great job and the bike is right and everything's good and this is also 2002 Pontiac uh, Silverdome uh, the track is really fun really fast and it, it's a it's a nice addition to the game for sure but the problem I have with this DLC as awesome as it is all the bikes all the rest of bikes should be two strokes right and they are um, at least they look to be but the sounds of them are four strokes. I don't know why. You might have noticed it when we were showing you the legends in the pack. They, the bikes weren't even, they were right, but they said like CRF 450, KX 450, like what's going on? You know, here we switch over to McGrath and he's on the Honda two stroke, but we got four 450 Honda bike sounds on him. What What's going on? I mean, the DLC, the pack DLC is awesome. I feel like they represented the riders really, really well in the game. The legends in the game. And it's really great. I love it. I was so excited when I saw it. And then as soon as we get into the game, it's like, it's like, you know, facepalm. It, it, why? Did Do they even test? Did you even test this DLC before you put it into the game? I mean, it's like they developed it, made it, and then put it in the game, but didn't care to, to test it. Why do we have four-stroke sounds on the two-stroke bikes? We have two strokes in the game. Just put the same sounds on them. I mean, yeah, of course we would love to see better two-stroke sounds, but I highly doubt they're going to develop brand new two-stroke sounds for this DLC, you know? So... It's just really unfortunate. I'm sure they'll fix it, so it really isn't that big a deal, but it just really overshadows the DLC a tiny bit for me. I mean, it doesn't make the DLC not awesome, because it is, but, you know, it's just, it's a bummer. And if you don't have a problem with it, and you sit there and say, they'll fix it, no big deal, I disagree with you. I think it is a big deal. People paid money for this, and it feels like this DLC is coming out a bit later and we're treated to two-stroke bike models but four-stroke sounds i mean it's it's annoying it's really annoying and i'm not being nitpicky i th i think this is this is a problem this this has gotta this has gotta stop right i mean another problem we have in the game now is that uh, somebody else mentioned it the the birds and the compound sounds kind of bleed over into the main game like the menu and whatnot if you're in the compound or if you free ride and that's been in the game since the last update not counting the one that put this DLC in the game um, it's just I love milestone I do I love that they make motocross games because that's what we play here but come on man come on this it's got to be better the bikes look cool the track is fun the DLC, I believe, is probably worth it. I think it's like, I actually don't know how much it is individually, but 
if you buy the season pass, it's like 30 bucks or something or 20 bucks and and then you get everything that comes out for the game, right? So I'm assuming it's probably like seven, eight, nine, ten dollars maybe. And in my opinion, it's worth it. This is cool. It's really fun to use these bikes and use these different riders. And, and I, I, again, I feel like they made them look awesome. They look really, really, really good. And if you enjoy the game, for sure, pick it up. I feel like this is probably going to be this and the other Legends pack is going to be or are going to be the strongest DLCs in the game. And I'm really curious to see what the other Legends pack has, what track, um, what ri riders and, and whatnot. But um, I'm really hoping they can get this patched really soon. I was playing on Xbox, so if you're playing on PC or or PlayStation, maybe you don't have this same problem. Somebody was accusing me one time of trying to make the game like worse than it really was, like with MXGP 2021, um, the track editor was really bad on PC. Someone, someone came to my channel or the video was like, stop trying to make it bad. I'm not trying to make it bad, dude. I am a fan of this DLC. I support this DLC. I think it's awesome. Maybe the pricing is a bit high if it's $10, but it's cool. It's definitely cool. The track is fun. It's really, really fast. It's easy to just fly around this track and, you know, burn off laps to try and beat your, your best time and your ghost and whatnot. And it's fun using these different legends in the game. For sure. Um, now, this one, this is Rick Johnson and... We did have Rick Johnson in Supercross 3, so I feel like this was kind of a reuse. It's like, it's like we probably could have got somebody else. I mean, I'm a fan of Rick Johnson, definitely, but we already had him in Supercross 3, so it just feels like, you know, they could have done something different, but um, a small complaint, really small complaint, just really cool DLC, just got to fix these bike sounds milestone, got to get on top of this and have it released in, in a way that it doesn't feel not right, you know? Um, but either way, this is really cool. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I, if it doesn't bother you, let me know why. Um, I know they'll fix it, or I assume they'll fix it. I, this is kind of a game-breaking thing. Um, got these two-strokes, these old two-stroke bikes running around on 450 sounds. Yeah, probably a problem. They will have to address it, and I'm sure they will. No big deal. But it's just a bummer. It's a bummer. You know? And it just... I don't think it's fair to just say it's not a big deal and ignore it or they'll keep doing it. It's got to get fixed for sure. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are you a fan of this DLC? Have you tried the DLC? Are you looking forward to the second Legends pack or are you not picking up the DLC because of whatever reason? But you guys, girls, are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.